Ironwood.com. I have a Rioja next to me. Kine Rioja Reserva 2012. And uh, let's give it a whirl. It's a gentle, spicy, uh, youthful earthiness about this. Um, quite a lot of red berry. Uh, and there's a strange, almost um, not unpleasant green note about it. Um, slightly herbal. Uh, and uh, not the type of herbs that you get uh, sometimes in, uh, with Cabernet Sauvignon, but uh, almost a, a more, oh dear, how would I describe it? Considered woody earthiness, and uh, that sounds a bit, I was going to use an impolite word there, but um, they, it feels like a wine where it needs a little bit more time to come out of its shell, so I'm going to do some swirling and see whether it does. Yeah, very, really quite tight knit at the moment. You come to taste it and you can see that all the elements are there. Nice structure, a nice bit of ripe but, um, uh, but persistent tannin. Uh, this juicy fruit, a core of, um, it's strange with, with Rioja, sometimes you get um, citrus flavours in there. I get um, a little touch of orange peel alongside the more conventional uh, red berry. And then this earthy herbal side. And, um, uh, and I think that there'll be a little bit of that that's related to oak aging and a little bit of that that's uh, related to uh, the vineyards and the grape varieties. Uh, made mainly from hand-picked Tempranillo and French and American oak. Uh, so it may be that some of that French oak is just giving a little bit more tightness and uh, yeah restraint to, to the wine. Whereas once upon a time it would have been American oak and it would have been a little bit more uh, forward and not showy but uh, yeah more forward. Uh, yes, a work in progress. I will be I will be tasting this again later, and um, I think it feels like a wine that uh, its best is uh, probably about two hours off. So uh, maybe I'll, I'll pour it into another uh, into a jug or something and um, see how it blossoms. But at the moment, it's looking good, but work in progress. Easy.